Namaste. Welcome to Microdose Yoga. Today is a yin yoga class for people with sore backs, hips, and legs. I always like to get started by just lighting a couple candles. So wherever you are today for your practice, if you have some incense or candles around, I hope that it brings that element of fire. And where fire is present, we can really burn through things that we no longer need. Um, in the yamas and niyamas of yoga, that's called tapas. It's austerity and it's also just like the flame that burns through the things that are no longer serving you um, and kind of illuminates your true self so that you don't get lost in all the noise of of what you think you're supposed to be in our societal dream and check boxes uh, and instead you get back to into oh that's right i'm a being having a human <laughs> having a human experience so it just helps for me make it feel sacred try it out and see how it feels for you another thing i always like to do is have something that smells good so my candles today are actually scented like fresh linen, but I'm also just going to rub this Lang Lang black pepper essential oil on me. It looks like I'm putting on a ton, but in truth, it's almost empty. So I have to put a lot to make any smell at all. So if you have something smelly, go ahead and pause the video, get your candles, get some smells. Come back to your mat and just let it be a fully sensual experience. I'm going to scooch over because I think this is beautiful and then you can see it. Sit tall, breathe deeply and just let yourself arrive here today. Let yourself arrive on your mat. Show up for yourself just for 15 minutes and see how easy it is to press that reset button to make your body feel better and to realign with your confidence and your goddess nature. Whether you're male or female, you have a goddess nature. We live on a feminine planet, so the more in tune we become with the earth, the more in touch we are with our feminine energy. A lot of women on the planet have been really in touch with their male energy lately. Lots of doing, and especially since the 1980s, um, just women kind of taking control and being this like very forceful disciplinarian role. Uh, and it's it's been born out of necessity. Um, so it might be time to sort of soften that up. You're so strong. See if you can also get really soft. And as you breathe into your softness, just kind of rock back and forth, side to side. Let's take some deep sighs together. We'll take three sighs. Just let it out, let it go. Let go of whatever it is that needs to leave you. Two more. Once more. I always have to be careful with that horse breath that I don't blow out my candles. All right. So I think the first yin posture we're going to go to today um, is actually fire logs. So we're going to start out strong. So fire logs is when we place a knee on an ankle and an ankle on a knee. I'm going to stick my left leg on top of my right leg. And one reason I love this pose is because you can see the, the difference from the beginning to the end. So not only do you feel it, but you can actually see it. Like, check out how much space I have here between these. How much space do you have between yours? If this were a restorative class or just a regular yang yoga class, we would want to put a prop here to support this space. But we're actually using this space, so we're going to leave that open. You want to make sure that your ankle is on your knee. So this isn't a pose where your leg is folded in. I've seen people do that. See if you can bring your ankle all the way out to the knee so that that knee is lined up on the other ankle. Okay. This isn't a half lotus pose. This is fire locks. So seated, just like this, get yourself grounded. 
Feel your sits bones in the earth. Know that the earth is coming up to meet you, helping you soften and rediscover your own feminine nurturing energy. And we're going to begin to lean forward very slightly. Remember, we're not leaning forward like this from the shoulders. We're actually pressing our belly button toward the floor. If this is all you can go, then that's perfect. Do you feel it? Do you feel that stretch in, in your outer leg and your IT band? If you don't feel it yet, then you haven't yet reached your edge, so you wanna keep inching forward until you do feel it. I'm here at my edge now. If, it's, if you're in a place where you can put your hands in front of you, you can do that. You can even tuck your arms into your lap if you'd like. What we wanna do is just keep that line of energy from the belly button to the floor as we fold forward. As you inhale, you create space for yourself. As you exhale, you let go. Don't rush it. Notice what you notice. If you feel some discomfort, that's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable. Sometimes we wanna be uncomfortable on purpose so that when we're uncomfortable in real life situations, we've got a frame of reference like, oh, this is okay. I know this is gonna pass. This isn't gonna last forever. And then when you get through it, you feel so much stronger and more peaceful. So the same is gonna happen here. We're just breathing into that fascia. Remember the fascia is the tissue, the connective tissue that holds us still and steady. And it does such a fine job that sometimes it holds us too still and steady. And we have to hold the stretch, hold the pose for long enough to send a message to the fascia. Hey, I'm actually, trying to get you to separate and lengthen. We're gonna stay here for another minute and a half. This is a really powerful pose and we wanna give it time to steep and do its thing. You can use your breath to focus on. If you've lit a candle, you can stare at the flame or you can use the sensation of the pose itself like a meditation. Just focus on what you feel and breathing into that feeling. Let's take seven more deep, full breaths into the belly. Focused where you're focused. Not wanting to be anywhere except right where you are. Two more breaths. And really lean into that sensation you feel. After your second breath, begin to lift up. The sun just came out where I am. It's kind of beautiful. And notice if you have more um, openness and softness in that area. My knee is almost down completely on my ankle, where when I began, it was jacked way up. So notice what you notice. If you didn't make a whole lot of visible progress today, it doesn't mean you didn't make progress. Let's stick our legs, feet on the floor, hug the knees in toward your chest, kind of back your feet up as far as you can and press your belly toward that space in between your legs. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I know it looks crazy but it's just a way to kind of hug and open. <sighs> Remember to keep taking those nice deep breaths. Let's put the left leg on the bottom now, holding that right leg on the top. I have to kind of inch my foot forward with my hand um, because it has this tendency to want to be back here. So you want to get your, your um, bottom leg parallel with your yoga mat. 
in order to get into the right pose. Again, make sure that your ankle is on the knee and not back here in the crook of your lap. We're not sitting in half lotus, we're sitting in fire log. If there's pain, numbness, or tingling in your joints or anywhere, then it's time to back out of the pose or switch into easy pose, sukadia, where one leg is laying in front of the other. Just begin to fold forward again, this time on the other side. I noticed some very different sensations in this leg, do you? Be patient with yourself and fold into it. the mind's, um, the mind's perpetual tendency to just kind of carry us away and see if you can come back to this moment. Let your breath work for you. Any place that you have an uncomfortable sensation, send your breath. Let your breath completely coat that area in warmth and love, softness, opening. And let's stay here for another seven breaths. Focused on the sensation, on the breath, on the music, on the flame. Just not stuck in the mind or somewhere else. No future or past. Just now, just present. yourself with your core or push yourself up with your hands and notice what you notice notice what you've opened up and then let's once again bring the heels in toward the body just kind of hug your belly through like you're pressing your belly through that space between your legs hug your knees up against your armpits give them a little wiggle oh, excuse me and as you're ready we're going to kind of shift around Place your hands on the floor and your feet flat on the floor. So we're just briefly coming into a, a goddess position. Do a squat. If your heels don't go on the floor, that's okay. You can be up on your, on your toes. But we want to keep the hands on the floor and straighten the knees, lift the hips into the air. If your knees don't straighten all the way, that's okay. If your hands need to come off the floor, let's all just take our hands off the floor, actually. And hold your elbows. <sighs> take some nice deep breaths here in ragdoll position. Just let your head hang down heavy. And let your head benefit from all the beautiful blood and nutrient that's rushing to your brain. If you can close your eyes or soften them, you can nod your head, yes, and no, but yes, and no. Don Miguel Ruiz says, you honor your yes and you honor your no. You respect other people's yes, you respect their no. When I say no, it doesn't mean I don't like you, it means this is not something I'm going to do right now. <sighs> nice deep breath. We're going to hold this for another full minute. 
straightening the backs of the hamstrings. Sometimes it helps if you do one leg at a time. Let's bend the right knee and let the left leg be very straight. And we're gonna try to bring our belly as close to this, the bent leg as possible. So my left leg is super straight. My right knee is bent. I'm bringing my belly down toward my right knee. Just drinking in that sensation in the back of my hamstrings and calves. I can also feel it all the way down to my foot and that feels good. If you have plantar fasciitis, it's really great to stretch the backs of your legs. That fascia is a long band. It's one big band that wraps around the bottom of the foot all the way up the leg to the tailbone. Inhale and as you exhale, bend that left knee. Let the right leg come straight and place your belly as close to your left thigh as you can. Keep letting your head hang heavy. And now just drink in the sensation of that right leg. If it feels good to do so, you can drop your hands and just kind of let them be where they are. Our hands do so much. We're always doing, making, holding, controlling. Maybe you can just let them flop for a minute and let them have the benefit of being upside down and receive the blood and nutrients. Inhale, exhale. Let's bend both knees. Slowly lift the body. Let's bring the arms up beside the ears and you can raise up and into chair pose. Taking a nice deep squat and then slowly standing. As we come to a stand, let's take our right wrist in the left hand and bend the right side body over to the left. Come slowly back to center and do it on the other side. Place the left wrist in your right hand as you bend to the right, opening up that left side body. <sighs> Take a nice, another huge sigh with me. <sighs> and that'll do it for today. That's your microdose yin yoga for the day. If there's anything you wanna specifically do, email me, text me, I'm here. The light inside me sees the light inside you. And remember, this spot where you are, God circled on a, on a map for you. That's by Haziz. See you soon.